hi everyone i welcome you to my youtube channel my name is coach franklin all right i am the founder of coach franklin cac.com an online academy that specializes in training others to master and profit from the business of cac registration so in this particular video i will show you in practical how to carry out an ngo name search on the new cac ai powered portal or dashboard okay I, I i am aware that a lot of you are finding it difficult because right now name search and approval for business name is now automatic name search and approval for a uh, company is now automatic where many of us are having this issue is ngo name search but i found the technicality to it and i feel like sharing with you i'll be able to use it to get to uh, a two company approved a bit two ngo approved and i thought it twice to actually share with us and it will be very helpful all right so this is one of the name search that i did and i am able to get to this part and run the name search successfully i'm going to show you all of that okay so these steps displayed in this video can only work for ngo only for now all right since business name and company name search and approval now automatic so on this video that i'm showing you right now is going to work only for just um for just ngo okay so like i said again i repeat these steps displayed in this video can only work for ngo only for now okay so having said that please i have a very robust cac academy where i train cac uh, company registration in us and uk and also in nigeria please visit coachfranklincac.com slash academy and take advantage of the courses that are available at our online school but i'll be glad if you can take two three four five today all right so i haven't said this it's time for practical time for practical all right so this is what i'm going to do i'm going to use this particular name as a practical right now this this the holy ghost theater the holy ghost theater ministry and the Holy Ghost Theater. So these are the name I want to use for Pratica. Okay. So I'll copy the first name. All right. Copy the first name. Then I'll go to my dashboard. Okay. I'm going to my dashboard. For instance, I have be able to log in. Let me zo let me zoom it a, a bit. Okay. Let me go back. And this is our dashboard. For instance, this is our dashboard. Okay. This is our dashboard this is my actually i don't have to show you how to log in again because you should know how to log into your dashboard so I, I skip that part okay so this is your dashboard you are going to see pre then you see pre cooperation when you click it you see both pre and cope and all of that here so the next thing you are just going to do once you get to your dashboard just go to name requiring consent name requiring consent click on it let me zoom it a bit once you click on it the next thing you are going to do is you're going to click on apply for consent apply for consent then once you click on it then you see business classification you choose incorporated trustee then you choose see business type okay then you choose incorporated trustee also then reason for consent request this is where technicality is reason for consent request what you are going to do is not to choose uh, because you are doing a name search you're not really re re ready to actually reserved in them yet so the best thing you are going to do you will see new incorporation slash don't choose that because you are doing a name search then you see change of name change of name of business slash companies change of name of business slash company change of name of business slash company are you getting it change of name of business slash company so you choose this so immediately you choose this then you click on apply for consent then you click on start application let me zoom it a bit start application then you put the name here find existing company you see find existing company so if you put business name here it's not going to work for instance my co my business name is coach franklin coach franklin consults you will see there will say no record found because it's not an ngo you get it because it's not an ngo but just let's put initiative you can see initiative or club initiative or well, I, I think i didn't spell it well any initiative initiate 
okay let's put club so i don't waste our time put club you can see it shows everything that has to do with it that will show here so that is the technicality to it but if you put a company name here your full company name here it won't show it won't show at all because it's not what it's not an it or a corporate trust or an ngo name but if you put initiative you put foundation let's check now you put foundation you see everything regarding ngo will show so let's say we we'll put matis hotel matis hotel am i correct <laughs> plan to search for vdms uh, uh ngo so matis hotel initiative so stuff stuff like this matis hotel initiative i'm trying to search for it you see matis johnson foundation so anything relating to NGO, that is what you are going to see, see here. So for instance, now this is the name we want to name do search. We just paste it. Do we see anything related related to this here? You search, you search, you observe, you search, you observe. The Holy Ghost Theatre Ministry. You see, Rema Computer and IT Service. You search, you search, you search. Does it relate? No. Doesn't relate? No. Doesn't relate? No. Doesn't relate, no. You just search. You search. You search. So, for instance, you, you can go. You can go. Let's remove that first. The Holy Ghost. Let's search for the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost Gospel Visionary. Holy Ghost Worldwide Outreach. Holy Ghost Powered End Time Ministry. Okay. The Holy Ghost. Is there anything? Holy Ghost Theater. Let me put the Holy Ghost Theatre alone. This is it. There's nothing. Let me remove the ministry and put theatre alone. Is there anyone like that? Theatre. No, there is no. So, if I put the Holy Ghost Ministry, is there anything? Holy Ghost Ministry, Holy Ghost Gospel Vision Ministry. There is. I'm doing a name search. As you getting it then this is how you do name search step by step so you know you you observe holy ghost deliverance ministry okay holy ghost firework ministry okay so is there anything holy ghost theater ministry holy ghost ministry you search all this let's put ministries let's put ministries so nothing like that nothing like that nothing like that holy ghost deliverance ministry holy ghost deliverance holy ghost fireworks holy ghost prayer craft ministry international the bible life holy ghost divine ministry so i'm just searching so you see this is how you search you search then at the end of the day this is the name we were actually searching for we couldn't find this holy ghost theater ministry nothing like that even though you are taking just this and returning back to the dashboard and pasting it okay well, there's nothing like that so there's nothing like holy ghost theater so we can assume that this name will go so obviously since we are able to since we are able to see the holy ghost so this name and this name are just the same thing the only difference is here just the i thing so obviously this name we go because i haven't after i've searched nothing like that so let's try to put the holy ghost put this iphone here let's see if anything will come out holy ghost theater let's put remove this theater first and leave ministry christ our savior holy ghost ministry holy ghost fire gospel ministry holy ghost search light and deliverance ministry are you saying it so the name they gave us we actually go there's nothing holy ghost theater or even we'll remove this eye thing self we are all seeing knowledge self which does not relate to the name at all so my dear that is how you do a name search i hope this was practical enough i hope this was practical enough enough it was practical enough like i said these steps can only work for ngo name search all right then also visit coachfranklinsets.com slash academy take advantage of our courses there's a new course we are launching at the moment sold for 
the 20,000 by September is climbing up to 30, which is how to launch your e-school. Okay. And teach what you know to make money. You can go ahead and get that course. It's very profitable to you. And also, like we do, did the practical, I hope it was very, very fantastic. All right. I'm saying thank you for taking this lesson. And I'm saying cheers.